Hi! I just wanted to come on and talk to you a little bit about some instruments. So in music class we use a lot of what we call non-pitched percussion instruments. So they're percussion instruments but they aren't pitched. So you couldn't really play a tune on them but you can play lots of rhythms and beats and things like that. Um, we have a whole lot of amazing instruments in our class and we're really lucky to have a really well stocked music room. But if you're at home, there are a lot of things that you can use. Now, I want to say this to start with, make sure, make sure, make sure you have permission from your parents or whoever you are with. If you're at grandma's house or wherever you are, make sure you have permission, okay? And I just went into my kitchen. The best place to find things are in your kitchen. You may have heard people having a kitchen band. Um, but I'm curious to find out what kind of things that you maybe come up with to make instruments at home quickly yourself. So I just grabbed, a. I went into my kitchen and filled a bucket full of things. And I'm just going to show you. So we have four non-pitched percussion instrument families in music class we have in music in general. We have the woods. Pop a few pictures of woods. We have metals. We have shaker scrapers. And we have, and we have skins. Okay, so let's just start to see, we could kind of see if we can put these instruments into those categories. Um, what I found for woods, uh, I don't have very many things for woods, but you know, good old wooden spoons. And I have different kinds of wooden spoons, kind of these nice thick ones that are kind of, um, they're almost more like salad tongs. But you have to be careful, this one you can see has a, if you can see it has a crack in it. So... I don't think this bad boy is going to take a lot of bang in pots and pans, but this part's usually safe. That would be a wood instrument. It'd be kind of like rhythm sticks or claves, that kind of thing. And you know claves are my favorite. And yes, I have my own set at home. Of course I do. Um, same with these ones. These ones are a little, these ones are a little more hardy. So they would make a little bit of a different sound depending where you hit them. So these not only serve as an instrument on their own, like rhythm sticks, but they could be used as mallets for um, other instruments if you wanted. Um, also, you could use the wooden spoons to like a clave. So um, these ones work really well for them. These ones might not work quite as well. Well, they might. You put the sort of the concave ends together. These ones don't work as well, but these flat ones have a nice sound. There you go. Some wooden spoons. Actually, wooden spoons is like an uh, instrument. I have, I used to have at Mount View, I used to have wooden spoons, like a whole class set. Um, okay, so that would be the woods. That's kind of all I could find for woods. If you find something else, let me know. I'm pointing over there. I'm gonna have a spot for you to let me know your instruments that you are making at home with parent permission. Um, another one we can try is um, metals. I have a, kitchens have a lot of metal things as it turns out, so. <laughs> This one I was really pleased with. I'm sure your parents will love this. Ooh, crack thing. I'm sure your parents will love this one. Um, can you guess what I'm making out of this? Symbols. They're two different sizes, but that's okay. We don't really... This sound is... I mean, this... We like the sound to resonate. So symbols uh, can be used with... You can get really lot really creative here. So pot lid sips again though. Maybe you could use it as a gong. Oops. 
Geil. <lacht> really rings. Look at this. So lots of different ways you can use that. I have different metal bowls. Um, these are usually good. The metal is a little more sturdy. Oh, I uh, just have a butter knife because sometimes that metal on metal sound. A little bit of a ting, kind of like a triangle maybe. Not quite, it's definitely not a triangle shape. Listen to the difference. Higher and lower, very cool. Also the sound, the sound of the metal makes a very different sound using a metal mallet as opposed to a wooden one. So we can try the wooden one here. Ooh, I like that actually. Oh, I'm just gonna. Oh, I like that. I'm having a lot of fun. What do you know? Okay, so that's some more metals. Um, I have some metal measuring spoons. Um, at your house, you might have bigger ones, um, like measuring cups, they, but I don't have any metal ones. Um, but these kind of, you could do like a shaker kind of, like a <laughs> terrible tambourine. <laughs> Listen to my terrible tambourine sound. Um, but you could also like, And there's lots of different sizes, so you could kind of spread them out and. You know, whatever you want to do. Some, an idea there. Um, oh, speaking of wooden sp of spoons, you can play the spoons. I used to do this a lot. Um, I don't know if these spoons, the, um, you kind of hold them in your hand like this with the, a kind of a, like a cool, these ones have a weird curve to them. I might not get the sound I'm wanting, but they're kind of hard to get going because the, they need to be a little flatter, but. Or maybe if I have some, t I think teaspoons maybe would work better. Anyway, um, to just two metal spoons are always a good one too. You'll have to look up some videos of people playing the spoon. There, it's amazing. People can play the spoons amazingly. Maybe you, maybe you are one of those people. Who knows until you try. Um. Another, this one, I hesitated showing you because um, these graters can be quite sharp. Um, this one's actually not very sharp, but um, kind of makes a nice shake or scraper sound. You can change it like if I, depending on the way I hold it. So that's kind of a neat scraper. And usually the scrapers we use in music class are made out of wood, but I don't have, I can't think of something. Can you think of something that would be a good shaker scraper out of wood? I can't, I don't have a very stock. Um, okay. So another shaker scraper, this is, everybody's favorite. Um, this would be a good little maraca. You can also, you can use, make your own maracas out of a pot bottle with sand, and sand maybe not, some rice in it, just like a plastic bottle with some rice or, um, you know what works really well actually is dry kitty litter, like clean, fresh kitty litter out of the kitty litter container, not don't scoop it out of your kitty's box. That is not so nice, but make sure you definitely ask if you're using food. This is 
kind of neat too because you can make lots of different sounds. Like that shake. And you could also do lots of things with that kind of thing. Um, tin cans, um, empty tin cans. They make different sounds depending. You can make yourself a whole bunch of cool sounds. Another, a great one is a, a mini drum. These ones are fantastic. This, this isn't what I got it for, but you never know. Okay, this I bought, used for the drum. You use your two hands. The problem with this is, yes, this is still has co coffee in it. So um, I could see that turning into a big mess. So perhaps a better idea would be to find, see if you have in the recycling bin, an empty bin like this with a lid on it. That would be the best. You could also flip it over. This would be the skin family, like a drum, right? Well, it smells good shaking that up. <laughs> um, here's just a random jar. I just put some old peas and um, some change. And I think there's like a, one of those alligator clips. <laughs> and it makes an interesting sound, but I noticed because of the metal lid, it kind of resonates. That also makes an interesting sound. Again, you can always, oh, I forgot to show you this. You can always use, you know, use two to make, a, make it a drum. That would work with this guy too. All kinds of things be careful when you're always be careful when you're using glass you could do a lot without using any glass at all and it's a much safer and you can do a lot without using any actual food products that will spill all over and be wasteful too empty be safe be safe this one oh it's a heavy pot uh you could use it doesn't this pot is too thick on the bottom it doesn't like that doesn't make a nice sound. Your pot, a pot you borrow might use, a, do a better sound. But this one will work really well with our trusty drumsticks. Different sounds. You can be creative with one thing. Um... I used these guys a little bit earlier. These were my glasses. You could get creative. Maybe I should do a video about that. Making a whole line of, hmm, we'll see. And I used a, this is, I wouldn't say this is a good idea if you're trying to do a rhythm band because you might just really get into it like I do and just, bad but it's example and I've got another one with a little more water ding dong so listen to the difference I'll pour some water more water into this one and listen to that's the sound ding 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 that was the sound to remember now it's getting lower Science and music. <gasps> music is all the things. Now it's got lower. How low can we go? How low can we go? That's all the water I have with me in here. There we go. Isn't that a nice sound? Yeah. So that's kind of a fun activity. <laughs> that's not, that actually would be a pitched percussion because you could play a tune with that. So pretend I didn't do that. It's for another day. So right, what we were talking about was the 
the non-pitched percussion. So we, I showed you something that would work for our woods. I don't have a lot for woods. If you have something else for woods, I'd be curious to know what you have. I've got the wooden spoons, which make really nice sound, different kinds of wooden spoons, um, which work really good for sticks, but they also work really good for mallets, especially these ones. So those would be woods. For metals, I've got my cymbals. You could do other things with these, a gong almost. I've got my metal, metal bowls. I also have the metal wooden spoons that you could use. This works as a metal too. Um, even though this technically has metal, um, this would be a shaker scraper instrument. Shaker scraper. This would be a shaker scraper. Um, this guy that I, this guy would be a shaker, shaker scraper because it's, it's that scrape, the action of scraping makes the sound. And um, our skins. Oh, I forgot my big bucket. Oh, now if you've got a bucket, you're in business. This would be a skin. So you could always use a wooden spoon, ouch, or just your hands. I, I like to use my hands. That would be a, um, a skin, that's like a drum. This guy would be a good, a good skin at either end. Um, uh, the pot would work as a skin too, it's just, this pot is a copper bottom, so it's really thick on the bottom. The sound doesn't travel very well, but probably a different pot would be better. And yeah, so those are some instruments you can use at home, even though you might not have any actual non-pitch percussion instruments with you. And you might have some, maybe you've got your own little rhythm band section. Um, at home because lots of times lots of times uh, kids toys are rhythm band instruments or um, non-pitch percussion instruments or even maybe some pitched percussions like little tiny they call them xylophones but they're actually glockenspiels with the different colored um, bars those are those are glockenspiels and lots of people have those at their houses anything like that interesting fun fact um, boom whackers were invented by someone just in their garage and they used PVC piping, I think that's what it's called, the white pipes, and they cut them into different uh, lengths so that when they hit them, they made different pitches. So that is a, that would be an example of pitched percussion. Our boom whackers are a pitched percussion. Um, yeah, any of our xylophones, metallophones, Balkan spiels, those are pitched percussion. But, so, you never know what you might have just in your very own, your very own house that can help you make, uh, make some instruments that you might want to use to play along with some of the songs. I'm going to post a few really cool YouTube videos uh, from uh, someone I follow on YouTube and he does these really awesome rhythm instrument. We've done some in music class with the older kids with boom whackers, but he does some with ryth for rhythm instruments. And... Um, so you can use these in place. You can use your own home instruments and get your family involved and have a little rhythm instrument play. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. It's good to see you. And I'm curious to hear what kind of rhythm instruments you can come up with or some ideas you have for some quick rhythm instruments um, you can make at home. Pitched percussion or non-pitched percussion or pitched percussion for that matter. You can do that as well. <laughs> All right, see you.